So the idea um, was actually inspired by the challenge, which was to shoot a whole story in one location. And I thought, why not try to use the ocean as our location? When Laura told me about her idea for this short, I got really excited. I thought it was something uh, super cool. We always try to kind of try to push the boundaries just a little bit further than we think they can go. And obviously. Uh, shooting in a swimming pool to make it look like the ocean is just a little bit further than you think you can go with a short film. We had to cover a little bit of the edges with duvetine so that we weren't working with all that blue and the white trim on the pool. We also had that big slide in the back and a diving board, um, the blue lining on the pool, there was a solar light that we had to figure out how to turn off. So we had to make sure it was pitch black out here and that the pool was um, dark enough. We only could shoot in one direction in the pool since we only had enough duvetine to cover that um, one end. So every different direction that you see is actually, we stayed in the same spot and we just moved the lights around and um, Jonathan, our actor, he just switched directions. That meant for all of our main shots, he was backlit by the moon but if he turned around and we wanted the camera to reverse, we would turn off the backlight and increase our, our fill light a little bit to bring it to the front. And it's sort of this big magic trick to make it look like the camera is actually moving around him and, and looking different directions when really it was the same direction the whole time. We had a fish tank that we used to protect the camera. And we had a little uh, lid that went on top of it. It's never fun doing that, but it works. Uh, obviously the fish tank companies don't want the water to leak out, which means the water shouldn't be getting in. So the first trial is our character finding the lost life jacket that belonged to someone that was close to him. We used a couple of uh, cheap soft boxes to get our moonlight effect and that kind of stayed constant throughout the whole short. Then he's he's bobbing out there all alone in the water and, and a storm rolls in. and He gets pulled underwater and he has to make a decision between this um, box that he has and the life jacket that he's held on to. We got some really cool rain and lightning effects with that and we used the uh, Aperture 120D LED and uh, reflected that into a, a mirror tile that we got from Home Depot for super cheap. That's what we just flashed on and off of the LED light to get our lightning effect. The next trial is he is alone in an open ocean and he is kind of inside of his head and there may or may not have been a shark. He takes his glow stick that's attached to him and he tosses that as far away from him as possible, then putting him in complete darkness in the middle of the ocean. And then in our uh, next scene, he opens up the box and we realize that it's a flare gun in there that he fires off and is kind of a last ditch effort and waiting for a rescue. The flare gun we did with a uh, 300 watt par can that we had and we put some red, red gel in front of it, had it on a dimmer that we were able to uh, strike up and then slowly fade off as, as this flare burns up. The next thing he encounters is a, uh, a whale out there and he tries to swim after it, try to maybe not be alone out there anymore and he resurfaces and, and he's near the coast. Behind him you will see a little row of twinkling lights that is supposed to look like a city that he's popped up on a coastline instead of out in the middle of the ocean now and it was actually um, some solar garden lights that we had um, set out they gave just the perfect amount of faint glow to look like a coastline and then when we get to the end um, and he's found by a searchlight that's that was just a regular LED flashlight that we had on us that uh, gave good enough levels that we were able to use as a light source to spotlight. I really thought that a story based around a character 
that was lost at sea was a ambitious goal, but I think that we pulled it off really well. Thank you to everybody that helped us shoot this. We had um, just a great team of people who stayed overnight with us to make sure that this happened. I'm Lorelei Crane and I wrote and directed Trials. Hope you enjoy.